Hey everybody, Colnar here. Welcome back to more NASCAR Thunder 2002. In the last episode, I won at Bristol. Yay! And I swept it. And I've restarted my winning streak again. And now, we are headed back to Darlington Raceway for the Mountain Dew Southern 500. Because everything needs Mountain Dew. I guess. I don't know. I'm probably going to put in a funny little description for uh, this race. Probably a Family Guy joke that you guys probably will get. You know, the one from when Peter becomes a, a redneck and he was watching Cosmos edited for rednecks and it says Mountain Dew is the best soda ever. Whatever. I don't know. Anyways, Bill Elliott has the pole. So does that mean Dodge is going to win this one? Well, they didn't win the Carolina Dodge Steelers uh, 400. So... No, they don't deserve to win this race. <laughs> so, where's Marky Mark Martin? Oh, he's in the front along with Jeff Gordon. Ooh. I guess these guys want to stay in contention for the Winston Cup. Especially Gordon. Gordon wants to stay in contention because, you know, he actually won the championship in 2001. But uh, I can change history, even though this is a video game. And oh, whoa, Jason Leffler blew his engine. I blew his engine, and that will bring out the first caution. Oh, boy. We really started off this race with a bang. Jason Leffler is now out with a blown engine, people. Ooh, wow. Got into a bunch of cars there. And I have, I have improved Elliot Sadler's position. By a whole, well, not by a whole lot, just some. Well, anyways, since we already ha are at our first caution of the day, I'm going to take this time to transition. So, yeah, I will see you guys at the green flag. So, yeah, see you there. Alright, we are going to go back under green. This is the final lap of... Uh, caution, so... Yeah. Here we go. Three, two, one. Green flag. We are back racing at Darlington. Alright, I'll pass all these slow ass cars. Excuse my language. But they are slow. Past Dale Earnhardt Jr. Past Matt Dillon in the 21 car. Also a little fun fact about Matt Dillon. He's actually the father of Austin and Ty Dillon. The current NASCAR drivers here. You know, um, Austin Dillon now drives the number three. Ty Dillon's trying to get a ride. But yeah, that's their father in this game. I just got into a wreck. That's not good. And now I'm losing a lot of position. Well, not really. But it feels like it. Ah, oh, crap. Great. I was Kevin LePage in the top 20. I thought he fell off the face of the earth. Scott Wimmer in the top 10. Makes no sense, but okay. Pass uh, Mark Martin. Bye, Mark. Have a fun time. <laughs> I've almost caught up to Bill Elliott, who's currently leading this race. 
and who's leading the most laps. I hit Ken Schrader out of the way. Matt Kenseth and Bill Elliott fighting for the lead. I push Matt Kenseth out of the way and I take the lead away from Bill Elliott only to give it back to him for some reason. I don't know why I braked. Weird. Now there's 27 laps to go here in the Mountain Dew Southern 500. I take the lead back away from Bill Elliott. As you guys know, the Dodges are doing crap here. Or they've always been doing crap, except for Sterling Marlin, who actually won a race with Dodge, and I almost started up another caution, but no caution. Wow, Ken Schrader's in second? You know, I would let Ken Schrader win a race, but I need to protect my point lead. Point leads are more important than giving off wins. Is that Rusty Wallace I see in third? Oh gosh dang it, it is. It's, it is Rusty Wallace. Darn, do bleed, do burr, 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 burr. Speaking like a redneck. I should do that. Because rednecks aren't fun. Except for Stone Cold Steve, Steve Austin. He's, he's a certified awesome redneck. Yeah, you're probably asking yourself, why did you mention Stone Cold Steve Austin? Cold? This is NASCAR, not you know, wrestling. You guys are right. <sighs> don't know why. I'm just saying. I don't like doing redneck voices. I just leave the redneck voices to the rednecks. And oh boy, Rusty just took the lead away. Mark, no. No. You stay away from me. Because, you know, I'm trying to win a race here. You should not be able to win a race. Rusty a little bit, but not that much. Get a usual in car camera. I know that, um, these four Tauruses, Monte Carlo, Chevrolet Monte Carlos, Dodge Interprets, and Pontiac Grand Prix are like supposed to be, you know, um, what's it called? Oh yeah, um, they're supposed to be, you know, sedans, like four-door sedans. Because that's basically what NASCARs are. Four-door sedans. Or two-door sedans, who knows. And now they're going with, you know, NASCARs now, they're going with, like, sports cars, like Mustangs and 
Camaros. They still have one sedan left, and that's the Camry. And up, oh, I wrecked myself, and that's going to bring out the second caution of the day. Can I get past Mark Martin? No, I won't. I won't be able to pass Mark. So, with 17 laps to go, Rusty Wallace is leading, Mark's in second, and I'm in third. Well, this is wonderful. And you know what? I'm going to skip ahead to the green flag, so I shall see you guys at the green flag, okay? All right, I'll see you at the green flag. All right, we are about to go back under green. We're going green on lap 24, which means there are going to be 13 laps to go in this race. Flying with Ariel, and we're back racing. I passed Mark Martin, haha, in his face. Can I pass Rusty Wallace? Yes, I will, haha, in his face. Twelve laps to go. Can anyone just help me out here and pass Mark Martin? Like, seriously. Seriously, someone do that. Great, Mark's now got second. This. I do believe I already have the five additional bonus points for leading the, for leading the most laps, so that's good. So therefore, Mark cannot get that achievement. Neither can he get the achievement of leading. You know, a lap, leading a lap in lane. Ten laps to go here at Darlington. I hit the wall, and oh, I took out Mark Martin, and he is dropping back. You shouldn't have messed with me, Mark. You shouldn't have messed with me, my dude. So now nine laps to go. Seven laps to go here in Darlington. Six laps to go now.
Rusty Wallace is charging up here, and I think I see Ricky Rudd. No, that's uh, that's Jerry Nadu in the 25. Where did he come from? Rusty Wallace takes the lead and Jeff Green almost took second. And that was not cool what Rusty did to me, so I gotta go get the lead back with four laps to go and I think I will be able to do it. But not after, you know, getting Rusty loose over there. So that was for hitting me. Coming off turn three into turn four. Coming off turn four and two laps to go here. Coming off turn three, turn four, now off turn four. Coming around for the white flag, this time by one lap to go. Final lap here at Darlington. Entering turn three, exiting turn three. Now into turn four, getting off turn four, and that will be the race. I will win the Mountain Dew Southern 500 at Darlington. Mark Martin will finish fifth. Wow. Unbelievable. What a great race. Oh, yeah. Ooh, Devin Leffler hit the wall hard. Wait, did I say Devin Leffler? I'm in Jason Leffler. Ugh. I'm getting my... I'm getting my drivers mixed up. Ugh. My driver's names mixed up. But yeah, Jason Leffler got destroyed. Okay, so I got into him and Kenny Wallace and Yeesh. Lots of stuff happened. taking the checkered flag. Winning the race. <sighs> what an epic finish. So I win the race. Rusty Wallace finishes second. Jerry Nadeau third. Jeff Green fourth. Mark Martin fifth. Bill Elliott sixth. Ken Schrader seventh. Bobby Labonte eighth. Steve Park ninth. And Kevin Harvick tenth. What a race. What a race. What a race. <sighs> so with that, Jeff Gordon is now out of contention for the Winston Cup Championship. 
He has now reached over a thousand points below, well behind me. So here's here's the deal. If Mark Martin does not do well in the next race, or I reach a th- five thousand points before Mark, I will become the NASCAR Winston Cup champion. If Mark lose is behind is trailing me by over a thousand or I get to five thousand first, I have clinched the Winston Cup championship. So yeah, this is gonna be very, very interesting. I I already know I won rookie of the year, so yeah, I'm gonna be the rookie of the year. Still leading in laps, and no jackpot fives. Ugh. Man, I'm getting tired for some reason. But anyways, looky here. The Chevrolet Monte Carlo 400 at Richmond. Now, I want to check something. Did I win the Pontiac excitement? Yes, I did. So, I can sweep Richmond. I swept Darlington, swept Bristol, swept the road courses... Now, the biggest question is, can I sweep that sweet, sweet Richmond? And then the next race, after Richmond, will I, have to, will I sweep New Hampshire? And then we got one race at Kansas. <sighs> oh, excuse me. Then we, got, then we got another race at Charlotte. Which means, can I win the race at Charlotte to, well, Lowe's, technically. Can I win at Lowe's to sweep Lowe's? Then we got Martinsville. Can I sweep Talladega? Can I get Phoenix? Can I sweep North Carolina? Can I win Homestead? And can I win at Atlanta, sweeping Atlanta? So, yeah. It is going to be pretty interesting. So, yeah. But anyways, that is going to be it for this episode of NASCAR Thunder 2002. If you enjoyed it, smash a like on it. Subscribe if you're new to this channel. Check out my other videos I've uploaded to my channel. And I shall see you guys next time for more NASCAR Thunder 2002. So with that, I'll see you guys later.